Okay, we got a new program here. Uh, it's a three axis pick and place. I'm gonna show you guys here in a little bit. It pretty much uh, have, th have, to have the X, Y, and Z axis. Um, I'll show you. If I press here. If I go here. Press the X. Y. And Z. And pretty much how this is going to work is. I'm going to have boxes coming from this conveyor. It's going to come straight over here. And I'm going to have an empty pallet coming from this uh, conveyor down here. And it's going to stop on this sensor right here. The box is going to stop on this sensor. And once I get this sensor uh, uh, break, meaning having a box on it and a pallet over here, this robot will go over here, pick up two boxes, one to the left, one to the right. And how it's gonna know if I if it had a box on the pallet is by this uh, this uh, emitter uh, sensor over here. It's gonna basically break at least three of these sensor. Once it broke three of these, it's gonna keep a count. Uh, it's gonna say, all right, broke one time. That'll be one box. Second time, that'll be second box. And it's gonna reset the counter and it's gonna send the pallet over here. And it's gonna basically just uh, in reality it will. It will basically be shipped out, but for now we're just deleting the uh, pallet once it's done. And uh, the logic I have is over here. I have a uh, basically a bunch of move uh, instruction of moving uh, this uh, pick and place robot. It's a, it uses a real uh, format uh, instead of I'm not using integer. I'm using a real format, so it had to be in decimal format. So I'm basically moving. Uh, I can move from 0 to 10 on either three axes. So uh, the X, Y, and Z, uh, is, the home position would be, of course, 0. So in the first start, I'm going to basically start the pallet first. And what's unique about this uh, logic now is uh, I'm actually tracking the uh, conveyor. Uh, I'll show you. Once I press start, right here. I'm actually tracking it with the shift register right here. As, as you can see, it's moving every single bit to the left, and I'm tracking the uh, I'm tracking the uh, pallet every time it moves. So once I press start, it's gonna have a one hertz clock, and if uh, the box conveyor uh, analog is gonna go to ten, and it's gonna move, and I'm pretty much shifting bits to the left and I'm, that this is how I'm going to know which uh, position I'm in with the pallet where is it at in, in the specific spot of the conveyor so enough said uh, this is the logic right here a little quickie so y'all could uh, look at it if you're interested uh, a bunch of more move data uh, a lot of uh, timers just to get everything timed out perfectly uh, a lot of move with, with real formats um more move more timers um and you know a lot of comparison and instruction um i'm using a lot of uh, rising edge trigger then uh i have a counter right here and i'm pretty much it's pretty much simple uh a very very simple i'm trying not to make it complicated all right, enough say. Let's go ahead and start with the project. All right, and if you're ready, then let's do it. Oops. There we go. And just watch these number. You'll see the number moves back and forth. Oops, I think I messed up. Let's start again. There we go. That's 
one pallet. You see the counter right here. Just keeping count. Done, it's gonna reset. I have these two sensors right here to uh, pretty much tell where in my location that am I picking up the second box or am I picking up the uh, first box? So, this is the second box, this is the first box right here. That was pretty unique, huh? I, I know it's just stupid and robot stupid, but you, know, you gotta have a passion for this to really, you know, like it. But here's the logic while it's running. Go all the way back up. Shift register. There I'm tracking. Once I hit the spot, I reset it back to one, which is the bit zero. And it's a bunch of move data. Well, I hope y'all enjoy.